One thing we need to introduce is property diagrams. So what we have is a, uh, the, the standard setup for vapor compression refrigeration. So saturated vapor at state one is fed into the compressor. It's superheated vapor. It comes out of the condenser as saturated liquid. Then it goes to the expansion valve. It flashes through the expansion valve and then evaporates in the evaporator. Well, on a TS diagram, we've seen this, have we not? So you put at the low pressure at state one, and it goes, this is a line of constant pressure, low pressure. And this is a line of constant high pressure on a TS diagram. So if you go from state one to two, and you do it adiabatic and reversibly, you'll get to 2S, it's isentropic. If there are some irreversibilities, you kick it out, and there's state two actual. And then you cool at constant pressure to it's saturated. So it goes from superheated to saturated vapor. Then it continues to cool over. So it's at state three, which is saturated liquid. Then it goes, and there's no way to have a reversible expansion through that, ex that uh, expansion valve. It's just a restriction. And so it's irreversible dashed line, S increases, and there is state four. The, there is a quality at state four, maybe it's 30%. By mass, 30% of the fluid vaporized, leaving 70% or whatever the number is of that to vaporize and provide cooling. Now we have a new property diagram, a pressure enthalpy diagram, pressure and enthalpy. So you put the dome on it. The critical point on the TS is right at the top. The critical point is still at the highest pressure, but it's shifted over from, it's like skewed over. It's, it's, it, so it's a little funny that this, this curve bends right in here, but this is all a state of saturated liquids. This is all saturated liquids. I'm sorry. All of these states are saturated vapor. All of these states are saturated vapor. All of these states are saturated liquid. All of these states are saturated liquid. So we still have a dome on a pH diagram. But as you can see, the enthalpy, this is like H of G, starts to decrease as you get really close to the critical point, where at lower values, of pressure, the enthalpy increases as you increase pressure. But then it curves and it decreases. So why do we like uh, pH diagrams, especially in refrigeration systems? Because this nat system naturally splits to a high side, pressure high, and a low side, pressure low. And often you just need two pressure gauges, and you can tell a lot about the health of a refrigeration system. Uh, so you have a pressure high and a pressure low. Okay. So the lines of constant pressure, just they're just horizontal lines. Let me get rid of this here. Get rid of that. Okay. Now, where is state one? It's saturated vapor at low pressure, go along a line of constant S, which they do on a lot of charts do have them, but it'll be shaped like that to state 2S. And then if it's some irreversibility, you'll come out with higher energy because there was more work put into the system than the minimum work required. So H2 will be greater than H2S. Entropy. Entropy, yes. Did I say enthalpy? It's a constant S, true? From 2 to 2S, I mean from 1 to 2S is constant S. And then you uh, go ahead and cool it so it's going from superheated vapor to saturated vapor, and then you continue to cool it until you get saturated liquid, and then at state 3, you're at saturated liquid, high pressure, you put it through the expansion valve. Now here it's 
irreversible again, so we want to draw it as a dashed line, but it's going to be straight down because it's isenthalpic, true? Isn't H4 equal to H3? H4 is equal to H3. I see a couple thumbs up. That's great. And then in the evaporator, you, you, you evaporate the mass that's still in the liquid form. Some mass flashes, true? So that's why you have a quality. Notice, what is the visual magnitude of the quality off of this pH diagram as I've sketched? Quality at state 4. Okay, we got 0.3. And so what you're doing is you're looking at the length of two lines and doing the ratio, true? How far is state 4 from saturated liquid towards saturated vapor? The length of this line divided by the length of that line is the quality. So if state 4 was way over here, what would the quality be? Very high, maybe 95, 97%. So sitting right here, you look at it and you say, eh, it's about 25%. How's that? 25% look good? 